tonight on Explore Acrylics. Quick tips with Mark. <laughs> Giving a painting some interest is is um, means looking at things very very closely, and I think it's pretty obvious. You know, when you get a, a, a leaf like that, the sun hits it, and you know there's light reflected and things. But one of the things I really like to look for is the way a leaf is backlit. So, for example. When the sun's hitting the leaf and you can't actually see the part that the sun's hitting directly but you can see the light shining through the leaf a little bit it's it's a really nice way of adding another dimension and a layer to a painting and so i'm doing that now and in case you're um, curious forest green uh, chroma paints make a really nice color called forest green mixed with cadmium yellow medium makes a really good combination for that so different leaves have different shapes, which means different parts of the leaf will have the light shining on them directly, um, which means that when you look at the underside of the leaf, there'll be different bits that are lighter and darker. So anyway, really nice idea to sit down and have a look at the way the light hits a leaf from the underside of the leaf. Um, and then, of course, Put that in your paintings and here's a little bit that you might not have thought of as the sun comes through there'll be white down along that edge but the light is hitting that scallop there and shining through it so we put a bit of that cad yellow there and then that creates the impression of the light the leaf rolling over and the light shining through it do the same thing there And so you can see that little bit of extra information makes a big difference to the picture. Just those tiny little flashes of gold. Anyway, go and look at leaves, but don't look at the way the light's hitting the top of them. Look at the way the, the uh, sorry, look at the colors and the shapes that are made as the light shines through them.